Hi all. Um, yeah, this this week's video. Uh, we got. I'm going to try and put a put a few. Well, I'm going to try and cram a lot into this video if I can. We got. We have got a bit of a busy week. Um, we're moving heifers tomorrow from ICH heifers. The the last 300 of the July batch down to ICH. So there'll be a bit of that. We've got magnets um, tomorrow. We've got 700 animals that need magnets. They won't. Um, I might not film a lot of that because you've seen magnets already. The other thing I want to try and do this week is I want to try and do some more filming in calf house so that you guys can see them feeding the calves. All right, so, so that's what the plan is this week. Um, and also there might be a few other little bits and bobs. Uh, I'm just going to try and get into this video. Right, I'll we'll see you in a bit. Morning all. Um, yeah, I'm just, well, we just got to dry unit now with these heifers. I'm sorry I couldn't get the peppers coming out of corrals, it's just that my, my GoPro wouldn't start, so um, uh, I needed to help the lads. But anyway, we've just got up here now, <clears throat> we're just crossing the last road, um, and they're going to go into dry unit, ready to carve in, well this is the July batch, so they've got four weeks, yeah. Got five weeks actually. So they start the middle of yeah mid, middle of July. <coughs> but I expect we'll start to have the first the first ones carve about the um, geez they're dust. Uh, the first ones will start carving the first week of July because they always do like we always tend to start carving them about ten days before the due date. So. Right now we'll catch up with them in the in the shed. Just here. Got them in fact for dry unit was in the breezeway. So like I said yesterday there's 300 coming down. It's the last 300. There's this, the carving batch is the 600. Um, and uh, yeah sorry the carving batch is the three in batch is the 600. We brought 300 down last week, um, just because the May batch had nearly finished, and then yes, yesterday the May batch of heifers finished, so well, the last of the May batch heifers finished, so we've now moved the last of the July batch down. Um, so as you can see, they're just going in there now. So this is the first 300 of the July batch in this house, house 85. And then the second, which is the ones we're putting in, will go into house 86. So, yeah, there's 600 batch there. And then in house uh, 87, 88, which are them two houses there, that's the June batch. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we always have about two months worth of heifers down here. We try to move them down about. We try to come them down about five weeks before if we can because they go on to their steamer ration 21 days before uh, carving. So we like to try and get them settled in and, and um, settled in and on the steamer ration. Come on, we're in Corral 8 now. We're going to do the magnets next. Uh, we're just waiting for the indoor feed room. Yes. Phone calls as well. Hello. Yeah, so we're in trial 807 now. We're going to start doing the magnets in a minute. We've got 707 to do. Um, yeah, we're kind of smashing it this morning when it comes to work. So I won't video too much of it because you've all seen it before. Um, yeah, I'm going to get on. I'm going to lock these in. And uh, we'll catch up in a bit.
cool. Well, we're done. We've done all the magnets now. Um, yeah, we did 707 this morning. Um, so the lads are just cleaning up now. There's just um, Peter's moving some feed around, and um, I think Keshab is uh, just letting letting heifers go a minute. So yeah, so that's it. That's done. Um, we've done a fair bit this morning actually. So it's nine o'clock now. We started at five, and we we've moved them heifers, and we've done these magnets. So. We're, uh, we've cracked on a bit this morning, it's good, it's always good. Right, that's it, we're done, we'll speak to you later. Right, so I'm just back up here now on the uh, mixing deck. Um, as you can see, they're just getting the bags ready to start mixing uh, the milk for this afternoon. And it's 12 o'clock now, we start feeding at about 12 o'clock, roughly. Yeah, so what we do in the afternoons is we feed the older ones first and probably do it in the mornings as well. Um, it just means that all the health guys in that can go for their breaks at a normal time and then when they all come back from their breaks um, we will be in the new line. Everyone can go straight to the new line. The guy who's driving the Wrangle can feed the new line and then there's 10 blokes straight in feeding baby calves, making sure they're all drinking uh, and making sure that they're all, um, they're all healthy and fit. And then once they've fed all the new calves, so maybe the first 40, 50 new calves, they then all split up, they all go and walk their own lines and they um, change water. So yeah, so at the minute, just opening the bags. Um, so that when they're putting it in, they can put it all in at once and it's not a case of do a bag, do open it, and do a bag, do open it and then you end up with a massive lump in the bottom it's all put in at once straight into the water you see the water's running in there now um, and then keep it up in the bottom Dropping on my head. If you look in the bottom, there's a little mixer down in there. That's that's that that will mix it up. There's a filter, and then this here is what we call the CIP. So that's the thing that washes the tank once it's um, once it's uh, once you finished using it. Then over there. If you
right, this is take two of this bit um, because the original footage that I recorded here um, for some reason the old uh, I don't know what it is. It won't it won't load up to YouTube. It cuts the video um, at that. Um, so anyway, if you're watching the other video, you would have just seen Baraka set off down here now, um, feeding calves, um, and all this piece was was me just telling you uh, how we uh, the amount of milk that we give our calves. So we feed them uh, powdered milk from day one or day two. Um, day one they're in calf house having their colostrum and then we wean at 71 days um, so from day two to day 60 we're building them from two liters up to seven liters just trying to uh, maintain them they're just maintained on milk uh, they are on calf starter at that stage as well so with this stuff here we're just we're get, trying to get them to eat that um, so yes, yeah, so that's two to 60 days. Then from 60 to 72 days, we then bring it down from uh, seven liters down to one liter of milk. Because at that point, at that 60 day point, we're trying to get them to take on even more concentrate. The, the weaning process has, has really kicked in then um, because we want them onto, onto solid feed. So again, from 60 days down to uh, 71, 72 days, um, we drop it from seven liters down to one litre and our target weight for them th this starter here they should be getting two kilos of dry matter they should be eating two kilos of dry matter on day 71 um, in order for us uh, to wean them successfully now that isn't the target that we use for them to be weaned we actually use weight here so the weight of the calf at the time is the target that we uh, that we use okay well, yeah, and I meant to say the weight target um, is anything above 85 kilos, uh, but we're generally um, we're generally weaning off here. Uh, I'd be at, we'd be having about 92 kilos at 72 days. Right, I think that's it for this week's well vlog anyway, because I've done a fair bit this week actually. We've had a busy week. We did FMD this morning. Um, I I didn't get any um, any footage of it just because. Uh, number one, it was real busy, and uh, I was vaccinating. And number two, I, yeah, it's 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 a bit like it would have been the same thing as I am going to do or edit with the magnet thing this week. So it was just been a quick thing. It was hardly worth, you know, it would have been probably an hour, two hours worth of recording and thirty seconds worth of footage. So you know, I didn't bother. But uh, but anyway, I'm just here now walking the ball line a minute. Uh, just checking the ball calves that we have here um, and then I'm going to go and get a cup of tea because it's only five o'clock and it's cup of tea time and yeah right hope you're all well hope you've had a good week see you soon <laughs>